<laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, I guess. Hey, we're at City Hall. City Hall, Daytona Beach. LBGA. Second day we're down here protesting. City of City Holly Hill is discriminating against our church. How terrible. You know, our church has been here 100 years. Established almost 100 years. 1924. They're coming, calling this preacher a liar, saying that we're doing things we're not. And so they started war with us, and so we're going to finish it. We, we started protesting today. We, we, we put them up on the sign. We got a nice neon sign out in front of our building. I've got on there, city harassing our church. Call Joe Forte, city manager, got his phone number. Call uh, Mayor Villa, got his phone number. Call John Penny, my commissioner, got his phone number up there. Put it up yesterday. Started protesting yesterday. Brian's getting the signs right now. I'm parked in front of City Hall. If you want to if you want to come um, down here and talk to me, I'm parked in front of City Hall right now. I'll show you City Hall. Got it right here. There's, there's the City Hall right up there. And here's Brian. He's he's making a sign right now. City uh, City harassing our church, and he's going to be out there. Right, we're up for the stairs here. Pull over by me to um, over. I'll talk to you. Pick it with us if you like. It's a shame. How dare they? Church has done good in this community for a hundred years, getting people saved, helping people, feeding people. Then they're going to call us liars. Yeah, I'll tell you more about that. We, uh, we, we've got a new camping ministry. Thank God uh, uh, Freddie uh, Shunman's uh, widow, she gave a camper, beautiful brand new camper, and Fred was one of my dearest friends and gave liberally to the, to the church, to the mission. And um, she gave this camper in memory of him. His name is on there, dedicated to Fred. And uh, we go out to the campgrounds, and we have wonderful times here discipling people. But in the meantime, we have to keep it on our property. And they're saying, I've got people living, and they've been doing that. for. Somebody hates the mission. There's some people that hate the mission. And uh, we, we, we had some wicked tenants in there. The, the man came in and said he was a God's man. He wanted to work with our church, be part of our church, and sell tacos and he lied to me and he didn't pay his rent and way behind on it and wouldn't keep the rules and uh, he was the tenant sent from hell and we finally got him out of there got him to pay up his rent and, and um, he's out so so thank god but in the midst of that they started harassing us when he was here yet i think some of his allies is the ones that were doing it still are i guess but um they were sending the police over four times. Someone's living in your trailer. They don't live in that trailer. They say they got evidence now. So anyway, that's where we are. They're dragging us before the magistrate tomorrow. One o'clock, City Hall. Come on down. Be at the hearing. They won't show us pictures. They won't have us. They just said, you're a liar, and they uh, violated us. Code violation. Go before the magistrate. So here we are. So yesterday we started picketing and I got the name. I got the city officials' names out there on our on our marquee in front of the church, and say they're harassing us. Call them. So here we are. You know, God is good. You know, I'm so glad that the Ridgewood Avenue Baptist Church has carried on the great traditions of Baptist theology, and and um, we're an old-fashioned King James Baptist Church like we started in 1924. We believe the same things. We do the same soul winning. 
we've done this wonderful good here for almost a hundred years in Holly Hill and now we're going to be treated uh, like some kind of criminals it's it's uh, irrehensible it's unthinkable yeah, it's unconscionable use some legal terms and it's got to stop so we'll be picketing and I'll be here live uh, until it's over so uh, you can respond to it and uh, you can come down here. I'll be down here for a while, and, and Brian's just finishing the sign. Now he's doing the last letter on it. We did a new one from yesterday. We changed it a little bit. And uh, he's going to step out there right now and put the sign out. And if anybody wants to talk to me, I'm here to talk. Why don't you come down talk to me and come help us. If you love God, you love our mission, stand up for Jesus. God bless you. If you're not saved, why don't you get saved today? Everybody needs to be saved. Amen. Repent. Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Thou shalt be saved. So um, I'll pray to send this prayer with you. Is God convicting you? Would you turn from your sins? Would you repent? God speaking to you now? Would you obey him and repent? Pray this sinner's prayer with me, if you will. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I have a wicked heart. I've sinned much. I believe shed his precious blood on Calvary's cross. Rose from the grave on the third day. The best I know how, with a sincere, honest heart, I repent of my sins. I turn from it. And I call upon him in the name of the Lord for salvation. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you prayed that prayer. Get a hold of me if you have. Come on down with us. Stand with us in this. Pray for us about it. You see, cities, they the way they control you is with code enforcement. They just keep making more codes and more codes to control the people. Uh, that's what they do today all across America. They code you to death, and and they, they put a they put a noose around your neck, and, and and things that like let me just put this a church. Always you could put a church in in any district. You could put a church. Now, in most cities, I think in Holly Hill. There's no accepted use in any district. Everything's special use. I think Daytona Beach, too. Most cities are like that. It used to be you could put a church anywhere you wanted because they honored God. Holly Hill's really quite an anti-church city, really. They make us pay $2,500 water runoff tax. You know, there's 27 cities uh, in Volusia County, and seven of them, they took... Uh, Daytona Beach doesn't charge runoff water. Ormond Beach doesn't on both sides. Holly Hill charges it. There's only seven cities, and we're going to discuss that more with Holly Hill, too, because uh, we can do better with $2,500 uh, that uh, Holly Hill is charging us for runoff water tax, and, and uh, Daytona Beach don't do it. Ormond don't do it. Only seven churches out of 27 in Volusia County, so that kind of puts Holly Hill in the anti-church city. And they're sure anti-church and harassing us about this camper that that we're going to use for God's glory, and we're going to use it out there for feeding people on the parking lot, too. There's no reason why they should deny us, demanding we get it off the property. How ridiculous. We're going to have it out at the campgrounds and have it for retreats, for the glory of God, or we'll use it on the parking lot. I don't know why they can could want to fight against that. So pray for us. Come see us. We're down here at City Hall. God bless you.